Good evening, I'm Ashley Richmond. Tonight, a change in marijuana policy has advocates in Florida fighting for more. Plus, the Leon County crash caused by a possible drunk driver spells trouble for traffic on I-10. Those stories and more are straight ahead, but first, it's time for Powerball. Get out those tickets. Here are the winning numbers. Good luck. Get ready, everybody. This is Powerball. Good evening, America. Tonight, we have a big Powerball jackpot estimated at $447.8 million. So get those tickets out. Get ready. Let's play. That first number up is 32, followed by the number 26. Tonight, we're going to meet Effie and Lee, who won $1 million playing Powerball. Now, for the rest of those numbers, we've got the number 20, the number 38, rounding it out tonight with the number 58. Your Powerball number tonight is 3, and your Power Play multiplier is 2. Let's take a look at those numbers one last time. And from all of us here at the Florida Powerball Studios, thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here Wednesday night. Live from the WTXL studios, this is ABC 27's News Weekend Edition. Traffic is stopped on I-10 eastbound just before 4 o'clock this morning, and the driver, troopers say, caused the crash, is now facing charges. Good evening, and thanks for choosing WTXL. I'm Ashley Richmond. Careless driving and DUI charges are pending for Tallahassee man Quinton Scrace. Troopers say he caused the crash near mile marker 199. According to Florida Highway Patrol, Scrace swerved into the tail end of a Chevy Tahoe in a neighboring lane. That caused the Tahoe to flip over on the highway. The driver of the Tahoe, 42 year old Raquel Golden of Havana was taken to Tallahassee Memorial Hospital with serious injuries. Authorities believe alcohol may have been a factor in another crash, this one sending a driver to the hospital early this morning. It happened around 5.30 on US-90 in Jefferson County. According to FHP, 31-year-old Donnelly Lomprez from Monticello was driving westbound when she crossed the center line, hit a tree and overturned. She was taken to TMH with serious injuries. Troopers say she was wearing her seatbelt at the time of the crash. A heads up for drivers, the Florida Department of Transportation is starting up widespread maintenance projects throughout local counties starting tomorrow. In Jefferson County, U.S. 90 will see east and westbound lane closures from the Leon County line to east of Willow Street as crews resurface the road. The I-10 westbound rest area near mile marker 233 will be closed for renovations as well. Another resurfacing project, this one in Wakulla County, has lane closures in place along State Road 267 from south of State Road 363 to US 98. You can also expect lane closures on Monroe Street all week from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. That's overnight as workers paint the railroad bridge. We've got more information about these and other local road projects to keep an eye out for on our website, WTXL.TV. Some other big news from Florida session, the legislature's decision to expand the use of medical marijuana. It's ended one chapter in the battle over setting up regulations for the industry, but advocates say it doesn't go far enough. After Governor Rick Scott signs the bill, its principal backer, attorney John Morgan, says he intends to sue over the law's ban on smoking. The bill sponsors in both chambers have said there are no scientific studies that show smoking marijuana is more effective than other ways of ingesting it. Morgan said he will file the suit in Leon County and has enlisted constitutional law expert John Mills, the Dean Emeritus of University of Florida's Levin School of Law, to help in the coming legal battle. Victims are speaking out after their information was used to open fraudulent phone lines. Got a letter in the mail from.